So welcome to a vlog that might confuse you. Right, it's currently 16 minutes past 7. So normally, right, if this vlog is what it's supposed to be, I would get ready for work, but we will not look the way it does. Right. Unfortunately, it's another case of I'm kind of I'm not in a great mood about this, but I suppose that's what I'm. I got a phone call while I was asleep from my boss. Um, basically, she was saying that um. I can't remember explain why again. I was right. Listen, as Stephen, this is such and such from work. Listen, tonight's shift isn't off. Would you like to do a tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning till five o'clock? Um, you know, so that I don't lose out money wise. So, even though, so yeah, it's a uh, how long a shift is that? One time, to figure out. That's an eight hour. Yeah, that's an eight hour shift. It's not too bad to get two thirty minute breaks in there. Um. It'll be really weird working with members of the public again, um, you know, being with customers, because I'm not used to that anymore. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I suppose it'd be kind of good, because eventually I'm going to have to get used to being back only doing that, because I don't see myself being on night shift in a month's time, you know, with college and stuff, so maybe ease myself back into it. That's probably a good idea. Let me put this one on here. Another thing my brother's left me here. One sec, I'm going to take that for my brother. So, yeah, that's all sorted, but kind of annoyed, but also it's like, hey, I don't have to go to work. <laughs> the annoying part is I don't actually get a proper day off of work in the normal sense. Because yesterday, originally, I would have just slept after, you know, thing I wanted to do, but I then was told don't come to work. So, yeah. And then today, I would have went into work, and tomorrow I have to work. So, eh, square it a bit. I've messed up schedule, but that's just what it is. Um, tell you, I'm pointing this in the last vlog. They knew this boy who looks brilliant with the kind of half bow with the snow speed does. It looks really good. Um, I tell you what looks really good though. The back. So, I built it. The, it's based off the 1989 uh, Bat, Batman movie with Jack of the Joker and the Michael Keaton Batman and. Ooh, does it look good? The Joker money for a girl looks amazing and like it's got features and stuff which I wasn't expecting and I mean look at this one here, see when you move it back and forth. That flame moves. And it's got this other feature here at the front. Also you can put Batman in the front but like, the guns. That is cool. Those are retract as well. I mean this has got to be one of my favorite. It has to be my one of my favorite sets so far. I was more excited to build this than I was the battle pack, which is built. It's up there with the coins. I'm not sure about it. So I have the Ahsoka free thirty second, and then my coin army, which is cool. I can now say I have loads in my army because I've been wanting some. Of that would you? Yeah, I also got a Pokemon card which I need to sort into my binder. I need to resort my binder to be honest as well. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna put you guys put the so we can put it on top. So yeah, tomorrow we'll have a big shift on it. See one of my favourite people in work. So like one of the people I just got on with so well, so that'll be good. Let's put it on the bag away for this. Um battle pack was an interesting build. Normally battle pack builds, at least the modern ones don't interest me. It's more so the set I'm there for, the figures I'm there for, but in this instance, I really did enjoy the, um, the, um, build. But no, this gets me a whole bunch of reviews to do, you know, because the gunship will be the last thing I have done. Once that gunship comes out, September, um, cause I'm going to get one weekend in September, I won't be buying any sets after that, so... I mean, I've, got, I've now got a backlog of sets. So I've got the B wing, that's one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven sets. I always thought in my head that, I mean, that's seven weeks right there. Not to mention, um, this one will require, plus once I buy the lunch, that'll be eight. Not to mention, this will also be part of a wave review, so that's a lot. I've got content to do me. Um, those weeks. Yes, we're all good there. Um, 
Yeah, because we've got four ahead. Well, I four ahead rather. Um, I'm not going to be going anywhere else today. It's more or less our case, I'm going to be sitting there watching TV. Um, I'm going to take my binder and reorganise my cards. Um, what if I show you the cards I've got? I mean, try to get... So I'm currently working on like, kind of this older one. So let's see, we've got 2005 one. Five, two thousand, two thousand five, two thousand seven, two thousand one, two thousand eleven, two thousand Two thousand twelve, twenty twelve, twenty eight, nineteen ninety nine, two thousand five, two thousand seven, two thousand seven, two thousand two, nineteen ninety nine. It's kind of funny those cards are the same but from different years, so I can count them as two different cards. Um. 1999. I've got loads of first edition cards now. Um, 2007, 2005, 2008, 1999, 1999, 2006, 2007. So a big chunk of cards here. I need to organise the binder again. Just want to more cards. I'm going to chill and do that for a bit. I'll oh, see so you guys hope well later. It's currently 24 minutes past 7. Ah, uh, today has just been dull. So, I have to get... I checked my work schedule to confirm. Maybe, maybe I've already mentioned this. Maybe I haven't. I'm not entirely too sure. Well, I did sort of the book of cards. We'll get into that moment. Um, I have to get up at half five in the morning. So, I'm going to go to bed around 11. So, yeah. I want the full sweep because honestly I'm going to need the energy because I'm not used to being on day shifts. It's been a long while. So, let me get in the binder and let's show you the binder. I'm not going to go through it, through it, but so you guys see. I did that however. Uh, from the start and I'll point out up until about here. From all those pages to here, that's first editions. 2000, 2001, 2002, 5 and 7, loads of that. Got 2008 through 12, stuff. Of course, all the blank spots for future card collecting, and then all the kind of your modern cards up here, so. I didn't get, oh, I didn't get busy doing that. Um, I'm watching Republic Studs right now, doing a mystery Clone Army unboxing. I've not paid for my clones yet. In fact, one thing I'm about to do is I'm about to pull out all my mini figures and sort them. Keep me busy for a couple of hours or so. It's about two hours I'm going to go to sleep, so give me something to do. There's any organised ones in those drawers as well, since I now have those drawers. I love the way the Thai bomber looks there on the shelf of that. So let's get all those drawers out onto the bed. I can't think about what I talk about that. So I just need to add up like, the whole money thing, because I'm not buying the gunship. I have some additional funds that I can throw. Because I honestly, out of the 130 budget I had, I only spent 60 today, so that still leaves me with another 70. So my mini figure budget has went up severely. So we've got draw one, the final menace. Draw number two, that's attack of the clones. I'll bear with this ball out of the way. Um, we've got the clone wars drawer, which is the pull, which is the pull out of all of them. We've got Revenge of the Sith. I'll show them all on the bed in a minute. We've got Episode 4, New Hope. The original trilogy is something I've kind of steered away from recently of label collecting. 
purely for the reason that it's like, you'll, you'll see what I mean, right? I've been trying to fill out my prequel era stuff. And what I mean by that is like, you know, episodes one through three and the Clone Wars, because when I got back into Lego collecting at the end of 2015, for most part, the only sets Lego were making that weren't sequels was original trilogy era, but I do love the original trilogy, that's most of what I've got. Or I did have for a long while. But you know, in the last year or two I've been trying to expand my home wars. So I feel like I've done a good job of that. So we're also gonna pull out these. So what I'll do those separately. Um ones here, I should probably do them separately, just to make things easier for myself. So episode one is still a one more trying to fill out. Episode two is looking decent. Home wars has always been big. Three, this is four, five, six. Now this is kind of Disney Plus stuff is in here, the old public's in here, all that kind of thing. Well, let's get it all into one big pile. So this is more or less every Lego Star Wars figure I own is right here in front of you. This is all of them. Which, some of you, you will look at this and think this is a lot. Some of you, you will not. But I'm going to mix it up. I always like to organise and sort through them. I find it kind of therapeutic. Yeah, I find that therapeutic a lot of things. So let's see what can we find. Uh, put my hand on a random pile. I found a 2012 Clone Wars Padme Amidala. Let's go up here, we'll find... Tuck Falso from 2009. Put my hand in here. 2023 Clone Officer. So, you know, I'm going to organise through all these. Um, so, tell you what, there'll be another update. But the next one will be the last. This is a shorter one, but... Eh, screw it. Again, I could love the way that Batmobile works up there with the other stuff. That looks badass. So I'll see you later on. I'm just going to organise through. Let's take one more step, see what we can find. And we found... If I will first clones. Well, so what I have is clones. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to think about what clones are mine exactly and what's of mine from that seller. I'll see you guys. And then it's got... I fell asleep, so I'll have to go back to sleep. I need to be up at like five hours. Yeah, but... Just chiming in and say goodnight. Okay, in the morning when you just run out of some of the other mini figures I got, or the indie ones, got a Lego Batman one, Joker's Henchman, Anaconda Far from 09 and a 2011 Jeep version. Yeah. yeah, I need to get to sleep. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, Half past five is when I need up, so that's less than five hours total. Three hours and fifteen. Oh. Uh, it's not far away. See you guys.